How's it going guys? For this quick little tutorial, I wanted to show you how I create and import um, rig and animate a simple character in Unity. So starting out, create your character however you want. I put the most important pieces like arms, legs, head um, as their own object or layer. Um, I'm using GIMP here, you can use Photoshop, whatever. But you will need to be able to at least export a .psd file which if you're using GIMP, you can export a PSD and then you can just rename the file type to PSB to import into Unity and we'll see that in a second. But once you've got your character created, export it and let's hop over to Unity. And importing it like this, you'll notice it already have it split up for you by the layers, which is pretty awesome. So then you'll want to hop into the sprite editor and toggle it down to the skinning editor and from here we can start creating our bones and keep in mind this first one we create is kind of like the master bone um, it's going to move your entire uh, model or character so i like to make it kind of small in towards the midsection of the character so you notice when we want to kind of separate it and do something like the arms here we don't want the arms to be directly attached to that original red bone we've attached here we want it to be this one this green bone that's more closer to the shoulders that way so that one moves it will move the arms as well so what you'll do is create it like this and now once you're happy with your um, bones you've created um, head over to the auto geometry tab and this unity is basically going to guess the weights of each bone on the area that it's in um, and you can look at these uh, sliders you have here that will change some things. The only one I really uh, play with a lot is, is maybe the subdivide a little bit. That will make smaller triangles. You can get a little bit finer details. But if you isolate things out like the, the arms and legs into their own layer, um, then it's a lot easier to keep those um, from deforming and stuff. Um, as you can see here, the, this character, I actually didn't um, cut out its legs. I typically do but this one's um, part of the torso. Um, so I, I had a little bit of issue with animating. So once it auto-generates the weights, um, we wanna go into each of those different layers, like the arms and stuff, and make sure that no, no bones are affecting those that we don't want to, right? So in my example here, I don't actually have any, but say the one of these arm bones was more onto the torso or something, and I don't want it to, um, to have any effect on the torso. I, I would come in, in here in the bone influence and remove that bone from the list over here. You can also play with the painting if you have some issues. Maybe you want um, a bone to be you have a little more influence. You go into the weight brush and then you just select your bone in your layer and you literally just paint on the weight. So once you save that now and you drag and drop um, your newly rigged um, character out onto your scene you'll notice you've already got it's already got the sprite skin attached to it and your bones already attached to it if you go the other route uh, of not importing like as a PSB um, and doing doing some of that uh, layer stuff manually um, from a single sprite sheet you'll have to go in and add that you'll have to add that sprite skin uh, script and that's really what kind of ties the bones to the uh, layers and the image. But you should be able to play around in here with this and kind of see the way your guy can move. And with that, this quick little tutorial is over. You've got a rigged 2D character. Um, and then the next tutorial will do a quick little couple animations and um, look at the animation tab. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, Take a look at my game I'm working on. It's on the Steam store, um, Phantom Tides. Wishlist if you can. I know it helps a lot. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.